there, friends. Mr. Strange here. I'd like to tell you all what has been going on on the surface of Mars these days that NASA, or AKA the National Academy of Slax Acolytes, has been hiding from us free thinkers who have our powers of perception trained to see that what is going on are beyond their shiny white picket fences of deception. That's right, friends. That being said, let's take a look at this here first photograph that clearly shows a civilization of some kind really did exist here on the surface of Mars, friends. Now, looking at this first photograph, I just want to ask you all a little bit of a question here now. Now, why would the NASA administration want to send over a rover that was named Curiosity to the surface of Mars, but not be the slightest bit curious to find out just what these objects in this pile of rubble really are here, you see? Now, my question is following. What are they? Where'd they come from? Who made them? And what happened to cause this sort of destruction here? Well, let's start by taking a look at the next photo. Now, you all see this pile of debris that looks like rocks and sand? Uh, I'll just take you over here, and over there, and hang on a second here, uh, I just gotta get you over here. Uh, okay, now, you haven't had a good look now, have you? Uh, see anything that you've uh, spotted that's a little bit out of the ordinary? Uh, okay, now, I'll take a good look at this here rock pile, and notice what becomes visible to the eye, and trust me, you do not have pareidolia. That's right, friends! Pareidolia. You know that high and sophisticated word that the pans will use to scare you all into thinking that you're seeing things that are not there and they make you think that you've flown one over the cuckoo's nest. Now, so what have we here, friends? Could this be a rock or do you think it looks like an object that has been manufactured by someone or something? This little guy right here, you see now. Notice how shiny this object is. Notice that it has slots and a curb to it. Notice how it has geometry to it. That's right, friends. Geometry. That high and unsophisticated word. Now, now what about this here object over here? It has a tube of two little thingies protruding right out of it there. I'll just see if I can get my arm over there so you can all see it there. Look at these here. It's got two tubes. One and two tubes sticking right out of there now. Huh, now, you want to tell me how them NASA nincompoops can say that this here is pareidolia? Huh, pareidolia. That high and sophisticated word that makes y'all think that's gone crazy. Well, now, you think that's crazy? You just go uh, have a look at this here next photo coming right up. Uh, now, take a look at this here object. Now, I can't tell you what this object here is, but I can tell you that it's not supposed to be laying around the surface of Mars. Well, that their NASA administration keeps telling us all that there is no life there. Oh, uh, there was no life there, and continues to be no life there. Uh, well, that's what they say, huh? That's what they say to all these people here now. So, what do you think this object could be then, huh? Well, looks to me like a pipe sandwiched between two or three rocks that have been cemented together on one point in time and demolished at another point in time. Let's see, look at this here. Let's see if I can get it right down there for you now. Let's see, now look at that pipe there sticking out of there. What do you think that, how, how could that, how, 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 how could that have gotten in there now, huh? Uh, they got, uh, obviously got put in there by someone or something. Uh, uh, these objects clearly do not belong on the surface of the Martian landscape if what NASA is telling us is the truth. On the other hand, if NASA is not telling us all the truth, then all of these things here begin to make a lot, awful lot of sense now, don't it, friends? Ugh. Now, on to this next photo. We're going to show you just a little bit more of this uh, craziness here now. Ugh. Now, what do you all think this could be here? Could it, too, be a pile of useless rocks strewn about on the Martian landscape as well, friends? Ah, uh, could this, too, be a high and sophisticated word that the pans love to use out there? Pareidolia! To explain away all these mere rocks, too, friends? I mean, look at this! Just take a look at this! These two hollow parts right here, I'm just gonna show you right there now, see? There's one. Let's do some counting. One, and... Two! That's right, friends! That's two little holes at the end of this here uh, spine or something like that there, eh? Uh, well, kind of looks like it came from a living creature now, doesn't it, friends? Uh, look at the structure of these pieces here. That's right, structure. That's not so high and not sophisticated word uh, that anybody can relate to now, isn't it, friends? Now, no point speaking in tongues like them there, NASA dumb skulls do, so that uh, these can't understand one word that they're saying, which is exactly why they do it in the first place. 
They are all saying these Nacolites are sounding like they just tested a hundred years worth of encyclopedias and dictionaries and then regurgitate what they do not understand, cannot understand, and never will understand because they're too busy at the screen of their cell phones and being hypnotized by the BS that is being shoveled into their brains now, you see. <sighs> well, moving forward to the left-hand side of this pile of objects, uh, what do we see here, friends? Well, if you've ever looked at a photo of the Titanic laying in pieces on the bottom of the ocean, this is the kind of pattern that you will see. Now, just look at all of this here shredded and mangled stuff strewn about on the surface of Mars here, friends. Now, why have any of you ever seen rocks that have rips and tears and shreds like this here hanging off of them? Oh, why? Look at this here geometric piece of something that has been purposely cemented into the side of this here demolished object right here, friends. I'll just get you uh, and have a little bit closer look at it. There, there's one, and there's two, and there's uh, three right up there. Uh, to see if I can get my stick up there. Uh, there you go. That's three. Now, that's four, and that down there is going to make uh, five. Yeah, that's five objects there now. Uh, uh, this is what the pen, such as that birdie slack of light, uh, Brian Pop Robson, the rabbit, Joan Evans, and that there astronaut too, will tell you all that this is nothing more than pareidolia, friends. That's the only answer that they and their slack of lights have for everything in their miserable little lives. Sometimes they think that they themselves are that there high and sophisticated word, pareidolia. That's right, friends, pareidolia. But if you think these are good ones, uh, just wait till you see the next one. Uh, what do you all think this could be here? Just another rock uh, with a flat side? Or could it be a doorway? That's right, friends, a doorway. That might be going in uh, somewhere. Well, look at how this here laser beam is moving sideways, friends. I'll uh, take a look at that there. I'll just point it out for you. There's that laser beam, and it is, in fact, moving sideways to show you that it is going into something. Now, if that arch was a flat rock face, then why is that laser beam disappearing into that archway? And why are there sides to that archway to begin with right here? Uh, uh, why are there demolished rocks and pillars and foundation layers still embedded into the surface of the landscape? Why is there structure? That's right, friends, structure to be seen all over on the surface of this Martian landscape. Well, I'll tell you why. Because these are ruins of a building, well, and there were buildings that once existed on the surface of Mars long ago. Now, anybody with eyes in their heads can see this. Anybody, uh, even them, their pants, and them NASA numbskulls can. Oh, them guys, well, they'll never admit it publicly, but if you were to listen to them privately, that's right, friends, privately, uh, they'd be singing a different song, let me tell you that. Uh, uh, so when, boy, when, NASA, are you going to start telling people who uh, pay for all of this nonsense with their hard-working tax dollars? Uh, what's it going to take? Is it going to take over one million of us who can see right through you, slack political lies and deceptive ways to barnstorm you, and take over the evidence for ourselves so that we can show the whole world that uh, you've been lying and bamboozling us from day one now? Uh, uh, let me tell you, it's what's going to happen pretty soon if you don't start telling the truth. Uh, what is it going to take for you, pack of bands and uh, slack of lights, to admit that she's all been bamboozled by this here administration? Uh, Oh, my good gracious me, you stupid humans, I just don't know what to do with you anymore. Ugh.